Hello folks, time for another video and shave. Alrighty, well, usually I really don't do uh, reviews on my channel. I just basically just grab some stuff and shave and go to town. Unless I have a couple like, you know, uh, viewers who want me to shave with something specific. So, uh, but today I'm going to shave with something I'm going to do a little review on because while I was shopping on Amazon for those little shelves that I put up for my soaps because I have like, I don't know, I want to say like 200 soaps. And uh, by the way, the wife did not mind me putting those little shelves up because they're so small. You know, they hold about uh, five or six soaps. So it got the overflow out of my two cabinets and I put up four of them, so it was perfect. But anyway, while I was uh, shopping on Amazon for those, I came across a soap that I've never heard of. So I did a little research before I actually purchased it, but there was really no videos on it. Um, the company does have a website. Let me just get to it. Uh, it's TCM's Shave Cream. See it right there. And it comes in a Gimundo 12-ounce tub. Now, it is a cream. Uh, there is no label on the top cap, by the way. But look at the big old 12-ounce tub. This thing is huge. And it's a very nice, dense cream. Mmm. And what really turned me on to this soap was as I was, you know, glancing at it, and it was reasonably priced for 12 ounces. It was less than $20. Um, they do have a website. I am going to post the website instead of Amazon because there's more of their product and their website than Amazon, even though Amazon has their shave cream. Um, but they don't have their aftershave bomb, which I wish I would have bought because it looks awesome. But what really turned me on to the soap, besides it being 12 ounces, was the ingredients. Um, they just stood out because there was a big list of ingredients. Uh, it was moringa oil, sunflower seed oil, aloe vera, cucumber extract, green tea extract, a little bit of peppermint oil, and shea butter. So that's what that really, really like uh, kind of tweaked me. I was like, oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. Like I said, it was under $20. And uh, I went to the website after I purchased it from Amazon just to scope it out and uh yeah it's a custom barbershop in St. Louis and it's got a good story there uh I'll leave the link of course to their website I don't know if their website is working 100% because I went on it this morning um and uh it was a little lagging so I don't know if their website is going through maintenance but the soap was supposed to arrive three days ago but Amazon somehow sent it to you know halfway across the country and then back but it came in last night I actually did a quick lather last night just to scope it out. I am five days of growth. I don't know if you can see that because this camera doesn't pick up my 700 different color growth that comes in. But yeah, I'm five days. I need. I definitely need to shave because I've been five days. I've been waiting. I was supposed to show up on Wednesday. It's already the end of the week. Uh, I don't know if I'll get this video up today or tomorrow. But one thing I'll tell you about this soap is it doesn't have a, a massively knock you out of the park kind of scent when you open it and sniff it but when you lather this oh my god it smells great now to me there was no scent profile really on their website but what i get is i get a very aquatic kind of scent out of this and i don't know if it's because of that little bit of peppermint oil or maybe because of the cucumber extract but i get like an aquatic scent um almost like a don't don't take it this way but it to me it, it reminds me of a freshly clean pool not like very chlorine -y, but just fresh water, very clean aquatic scent. And I already put some in my Timeless Bowl. Um, and I got my Richman uh, Predator brush in there today with the big old 30 mil knot. I figured I wanted to go big knot today. And yeah, this, uh, mm, it just smells so fresh. I mean, it just smells like a fresh pool to me. And it's got a lot of great ingredients. And that's why I really picked it. So I haven't shaved with it yet. I lathered it last night just to scope it out. Because there was so much extra of that soap stuck to the bottom side of the cap there. So I said, All right, let, me, let me lather it up and see how it is. And it's, it's very refreshing. So let's see how she goes today. I'm going to wet the face. I'm actually not going to use a pre-shave today. Because I want to see the slickness of the soap. Oh yeah, and by the way, TCM stands for... The classic man. I actually emailed them or messaged them on Facebook and 
they actually got right back to me. So it comes, like I said, it comes out of a uh, a custom barbershop in St. Louis, Missouri. And the barbershop does a lot of good for the community. And it's got a pretty cool story there. So I'll leave a link to their regular website. Like I said, I was scoping it out this morning and it was a little, the website was going through some maintenance. Anyway, my gear for today, besides the my Predator brush and my Talonless ball, I'm going to be using my Rockwell 6S today um, with the old Rod George handle, the frog. Um, and by the way, I always forget, but this handle, this whole this handle with a, with a razor head, not this razor head, but another razor head that was sent to me by my buddy Wes. I always forget to give him a shout out. And we call it the frog now because that's what Jill from She Says with Jill says it should be called, so I'm always going to call it the frog. And there's a brand new Chroma Diamant blade in there today on its first use. And I'm on plate number five, I believe. Plate five on the Rockwell. And yeah, so I'm going to wet the face and, and grab that giant 30 millimeter knot. And I loaded it pretty heavy today because I got this big 30 mil. Wow, the wind today is kicking. We got some nasty weather that came in last night. It was snowing and raining. And... Wow. If you guys are familiar with uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Old Salty, this kind of reminds me of that. I like that it has green tea extract in it because green tree extract is great on my skin. So is the aloe vera. I mean, there's so many good things on this cucumber. And it, it lathers up so beautifully. I know because last night, well, here comes the rain again. Last night I uh, lathered up in my sash ball, my marble ball with one of my smoke brushes and it was like boom that's such a great great scent it's so fresh and let me tell you that container weighs a good amount because it is like i says it is uh 12 ounces in there i mean i didn't actually weigh it but it's heavy and like i says there was a lot of product stuck to underneath the lid probably due to shipping so I used that last night and this lather is just nice and thick and poofy I mean look at that lather it's just oh I just love it and I just cleared my lips twice for no reason <laughs> all right so let's go with the Rockwell success plate number five on that Rod George handle with the Chroma D month blade. And get some of that loud away from my eyes. Boy, it feels awesome on my face. Oh, it feels so good to shave this off. Yeah, I was waiting, because Wednesday, you know, I am a Prime member. Amazon said that, uh, you know, when I ordered this, I think it was Sunday or Monday. I would have it by Wednesday. So I was like, well, Wednesday I normally do my shave, but I said, oh, you know, wait till it comes in and I'll either shave Wednesday night or I'll shave Thursday morning or whatever. Then all of a sudden, wow, it's really raining. Sorry about that rain noise on my sun, on my uh, skylight there. So anyway, I was tracking it. And supposedly it left North Carolina. And... Went to Kentucky. And stayed in Kentucky for a day or two. And then on Wednesday, it said it was going to arrive. And I'm like, 
How's it gonna arrive when it's uh, still in Kentucky? So anyway, I contacted Amazon on the on the chat they have there, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it'll be there." <laughs> yeah, well, Wednesday night came and went, and then my tracking status changed. So you'll get it sometime in the near future. <laughs> So it actually arrived last night. Wow, it's really raining. Hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> Never fails though because every time I make a video, some kind of ruckus goes on. Well, that was a very fulfilling first pass the slickness on the soap is really good it's up there with a lot of the artisan soaps I have and it goes in my ear just as good as the other ones do <laughs> but yeah it's got great slickness wow it sounds like a tornado Must be that sideways kind of rain coming in. All right, so let's uh, let's lather up some more of that awesome TCM soap. Like I said, TCM stands for the Classic Man. I actually found that on the website and they messaged me back with what it stands for. Like I said, it's from what I can tell from the website is it originates from a custom barbershop in St. Louis who uh, seems to do a lot with their community there too. I know they do shaves for the homeless and they do shaves for like back to school. Definitely a great little story there if you read it on the About Us section of their website. Which I'll post in the description below. I'm really enjoying the scent. Like I says, to me, it's a very clean, 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 crisp, aquatic style scent. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Old Salty from Phoenix. Slickness is great. I was a little bummed they didn't have the aftershave bomb or their aftershave lotion on Amazon. You're like, well, Glenn, why didn't you just order from their website? Well, the problem is because I have a lot of Amazon uh, gift card credit because for the holidays, that's what I was given as gifts. So, and plus when I buy a shave gear, the wife kind of gets a little, not testy, but you know. If it's off of Amazon, it's okay though, because I don't know. Amazon seems I don't get yelled at. <laughs> Boy, that's good slickness. But that's good stuff. I'll tell you one thing. It's such a crisp, clean scent. Now remember, they're not a sponsor. It's something I just picked up on a whim. But yeah. And like I said, the slickness is great because they're used to me shaving with 
Not a lot of cream on my face there. And like I said, you get 12 ounces for, I think it was $18 or, I know it was less than 20. Wow, my face feels good. Just have that little usual spots there under my chin. I mean, well, I wish you could smell that. This stuff smells so good. Oh, a little update. So, you know, my son had the flu, which you know, we took him to the doctor and the doctor gave him medication. Well, my granddaughter caught it, so she was home this week. I just been pumping up on the and the vitamin C and because I really don't feel like getting sick. I'll tell you one thing: the scent is definitely, definitely. I'm loving it. I'm pretty sure this is the only scent that this comes in. Like I said, to me, it's very aquatic. Oh yeah, I am so smooth. I am BBS all the way, folks. Got to hand it to the guys over there at TCM. Ooh, the sea monster. <laughs> That's just my sink. It sounds like a sea monster when it gets... Because it, it doesn't have the plunger. And I have a little rubber stopper in there. So when I take that stopper out, man, it really goes down quick. Wow, that was a phenomenal shave. I kind of knew it was going to be because when I kind of lathered this last night to just try to lather out, I lathered it in my little, in my little bowl, my little marble sash bowl with uh, my Simo brush and it whipped up that lather in two seconds. And I was like, wow. And then I was actually smelling that scent because I just rubbed some of my hand to check out how slick it was. And the scent kind of stayed with my hand pretty much all night. Which was really cool. Like I said, I usually don't do like product review. Because I just like to shave and go. I am smooth. And I can still smell that soap. It smells so great. I'm going to do a little cold water rinse after I rinse off my razor here for a sec. It didn't leave any residue on any of my gear, I noticed. Like, some soaps leave that white residue, especially since here in New Jersey, I have that, uh, I have, we have hard water here, so, but no, see? No residue on that sucker. And I usually could tell on the handle because it's black, but nice. It's a very nice, clean soap. I do wish, though, I would have got the aftershave lotion but it wasn't available on Amazon they have all kind of beard care stuff and just all kind of cool things for men as far as like you know just for your, as far as your skin's concerned that soap feels so good on my face it's so good Boy, that wind is really kicking today, and so is that rain. Sounds like a freight train. All right, so let me recap this real quick while I let my face dry off. So that was TCM's... Stands for the Classic Man. Their shave cream. 12 ounces. And, uh... I know my, you probably won't be able to see that. I you can maybe pause it. But I guess I'll put the description. I'll put their link in the description. Hmm. I mean, it's 12 ounces of densely packed cream in there. Hmm. It's a little bit thicker dense-wise than like Televille Bond Street or uh, like Knightsbridge. It's a nice cream, but 
Nice and densely packed. Wow, my face feels spectacular. Spectacular. Just got my shirt a little extra wet. So I also used today was my Rich Man Predator brush with the newer 30 mil tuxedo knot that I put in there. Because I believe that brush originally had a uh, 26 mil. And there's all that soap in it. Just look at that glorious soap. It's like I said, it's such a clean, crisp scent. And like I said, they're not a sponsor. It's just a soap that I picked up because it intrigued me on Amazon. It's funny, it just popped up in my, you know, like Amazon where they kind of just suggest things. And I was like, oh, I've never heard of this soap brand. And then I kind of did a little bit of research to try to find some videos. And there were like two videos on their webpage, but. There's no YouTube videos on it, so I wanted to see how it performs. And then I was like, I don't care. It's like I said, it was less than uh, $20 for 12 ounces. You know, a lot of my soaps I buy are only four ounces, or sometimes they're up to six ounces, and they're, you know, $14 or $15, and sometimes they're more than 20 But this soap was less than 20 for 12 ounces. So I was like, how could you go wrong with that? And I bowl lathered with this soap twice, but I'll tell you what, I could, oh, and you can either use a brush or not a brush. They says you can, uh, you can lather this on your face just by hand if you need to. Um, I just like to use the brush because I like to exfoliate my whiskers that way. And that was that nice big old 30 mil tuxedo knot and that cool green and black handle, which I call the Predator. I've had this brush for a while. Rich's coins in there and great brush. And it covers like the whole face when it's splayed out. It's like boom with that 30 mil knot in there. I believe the knot came from maggots, if I remember correctly. All right. Boy, my face feels phenomenal. And I could, I'm like, I still smell that. Oh my god, it smells so, it's like fresh water. Like, I don't want to say like chlorine kind of pool water, but it just reminds me of a very fresh, crisp pool or lake, or even the ocean if you're out deep enough. Mmm, it's so delicious. So delicious to me, and it's just like, oh, it's slick. Very slick soap. I like to review stuff that I like. <laughs> And I'm glad it's worked out. I just, like I said, I wish I just had the lotion because if the lotion is as good as the soap, I'll definitely be a happy camper. So maybe eventually I'll get the I'll get the aftershave lotion off their uh, website, or maybe eventually it'll come onto Amazon. They have a lot of of their product on Amazon. They just didn't have the aftershave. It's either a bomb or a lotion. I think they call it a lotion. But yeah, it's good stuff. But I got something for after my shave. Because it has that cucumber extract in it. And I could definitely tell a hint of that in there when I when I lathered it up. Like I said, when you when you first open the container, you get a nice fresh crisp scent, but you really can't depict any of the uh ingredients in it. But once you lather it up, it's like boom. You it feels very, you know, very crisp and I definitely tell that cucumbers in there, so I'm gonna use some Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel, which I always neglect this because I, got, I have so many of these. My mom found a whole bunch of these a long time ago at Target and bought me a whole bunch, but I always forget I have them. And then I have one that sits right out here all the time. That is a perfect match for this soap. Some Cucumber Thayer's. Nice. Well, the guys over there at uh, TCM, the Classic Men, they did a good job with this soap. I approve. Now, I bet you the, the post-shave on this will be great. My face feels, my face still feels hydrated. And I guess I just, just used the uh, Cucumber Thayer's. And the razor I used today was my Rockwell 6S. 
I always put the logo upside down for you guys, but there's the Rockwell Success, and the blade that was in there was the Chroma Demont on his first use, and I used that awesome Rod George handle, the Frog, because my buddy Wes sent me this, because he's awesome. And the blade that's in there is the Chroma Diamant on its first use. Great shave. Well, my hat's off to uh, TCM for making a great soap. And uh, I got 12 ounces of that soap, so I'll definitely be using it a lot. But I, I guarantee my wife will be sneaking some. So if you like my video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And please subscribe to my channel, to my YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys. I love all my subscribers. You guys always give me great messages and hints and great, great comments. Thank you very much. So, until next shave, Glenn signing off. <laughs>